I believe he is refusing to be beaten. They can take away your house. They can take away everything. I would like to know what was your first thoughts when you read the scripts about Anna and about uh, the whole the whole story. Well, my initially I read the book, which I was, you know, completely swept away by, and I just thought Amor created the most beautiful world and cast of characters, and just the wit and the humor and the sophistication and the beauty and and the also the sort of tension and tragedy and you know the layers of it were um, were just incredible, and and I think any actor would would really just be just so desperate to be in that world in whatever context. So to be in that world and to also be this fabulous 1920s movie star um, was kind of a no-brainer to really want to be a part of. How was for you to be able to portray this uh, this conflict and to, and to be able to show this woman that, that wants to overcome everything? Yeah. It was a really interesting and, and beautiful arc to get to play and, and unexpected because it's not something we really see in, in the novel so much. So when those scripts came through, um, I was really blown away by, by Ben's writing and how he was able to have the insight to kind of know what it's like to be an actress who's, who's getting a bit older or, or who's seeing times change and, and all of that kind of thing. And it really resonated with me so much. I felt like he, he was really taking a lot of the thoughts out of my brain, you know, in terms of the way that my character is kind of guiding this younger actress about what, what her life is going to be like. Um, I thought it, it just was so true. Um, and it, it spoke so kind of clearly a, a about that experience. And of course, one of the most important things about your character is the relationship she builds with Alexander. And I love that every every bond that Alexander builds in, in this show is just shown in little moments. Uh, so how was to to build that kind of relationship? Because you have to see the, the passing of time in those brief moments. I know. I think that's so brilliant um, to be able to play this love story That, that, that lasts over the course of 30 years. And really, it's not until those later years that they even kind of really start to embrace the idea that they're in love. You know, it's just like years and years and years go by where they're sort of like, she's hot and cold with him. She's speaking to him at one point, And then, then she goes years without even looking in his direction and just tries to drive him crazy. And, you know, 10 years on, they're still sort of coyly figuring each other out and I think there's something so fun about that and so fun about these characters who have so much going on and so much inner life that you can kind of stretch it out for that much time and still still not know everything. I, I want to know how, how was building these uh, comedy moments and these tragic moments uh, all, all around this this whole story because it really feels like you're 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 in a in a whole in a whole story that that can actually go anywhere from comedy to drama in any moment. That's what kind of my favorite kind of projects or, or projects that, that vacillate between those things because it feels much more real. I, I think when you're, mm -hmm. when you're stuck in a box that's sort of like, oh, we can't be funny because this is a drama or it's too serious, it, it doesn't quite feel true to life because mm -hmm. comedy can happen out of any situation and sometimes it's the, the, the hardest things that, that bring out the most comedy. So I think you've got to be kind of, open to, 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 to all emotions and feelings and, and, and things like that. And this story really has that in spades, especially because we're following a character like the Count, who just in the face mm. of any adversity is, is going to be witty and charming and upbeat and, and kind of power through and with this sort of light-footed light -footed way. And Anna is kind of the same. She's similarly a survivor in, in her own way. And... Um, you know, she also won't be beaten and she'll she'll be fabulous even as things are crumbling around her. She'll sort of hold her head up high. And as you were just saying, uh, what is lovely about the story is that these characters have to overcome really hard situations, but it always with a positive message, with a positive tone. So I would like to know, what did you learn from this story uh, that has this, this beautiful message at, at the end of everything? I think ultimately, you know, it's a story that's really about... Um, a man who's kind of searching for purpose in his life and he kind of finds it through love and through connection to the people that mean the most to him. Um, you know, falling in love, finding a sort of a, a daughter, 
finding f true friendship. These are the things that, that give him meaning in his life, much more so than, you know, what he had before, which was, you know, a, a huge estate and all of these things and all these possessions and this generational wealth and all of those things that felt like they, that was who he was, that, that was his identity. And I think he had to find a new identity, which was much more internal and, and, and much more true. And, um, ultimately more meaningful. And I think that that's what I hope the show brings to people is that kind of reminds them of, of this feeling of connection. And for any of us who've lost it at different times in our lives to kind of the hope to, to kind of to find it again, I think is, is ultimately what it's about.